Hi, welcome to another edition of Fly Tying Step by Step. I had a request to tie the caddis fly that I use on the Val River. It's an easy tie. You can tie it in different sizes. I also use different um, size beads and colors. Uh, black, which the one that I have in the vase now. A orange, hot orange, and also the gold or copper color beads. So for this fly, you will need the following. A size 10 hook that I've got in the vise, a 4mm tungsten bead. You can use some roulette wraps as well, uh, 0.15, sorry, 0.015. And then a um, few basic materials, light olive haze air dubbing, light olive CDC fibers, a dark olive goose bite, and some thin copper wire. And for flash, we are going to use some crystal flash in this ice. It's a bluish ice dab that we're going to use. So let's get to it. I'm using a light olive thread. So I am going to weight this a little bit extra with wire. The river is quite high at this stage. Uh, it was higher, but I want to get this fly down as quick as possible. So I'm going to throw on there a few wraps of lead wire. This is really up to your preference. I'm just going to jam it in there. Yeah, that should do it. So the lead wire helps also to keep your bead in place. And it helps, of course, with the sink rate of your fly. So with that in place, we can start our thread wraps. You can put a dab of super glue or something over your lead wire just to secure it as well, but it's not necessary. Okay, advance your thread to about the um, bend of the hook or just between the bob and the bend of the hook midway around there. Then we are going to tie in our copper wire. This is going to do our segmentation and also help secure the goose bite. So I'm just going to come back and I will start my copper wire right at the base of my lead wraps so that I have a smooth transition there and then for the goose bite I'm just going to take one strand like so. You will see you've got a the, the outer side and the inner side so this is a concave feather so I'm going to tie it in upside down so the hollow part of the fiber will point upwards. Let's get that in place. And with that done, we can start our dabbing. So you want a thinner profile on this fly. There's no need in having a lot of weight on it, but it still has a lot of bulk on it. Okay, so I'm just going to dab a thin body of light olive dabbing. And you will see it's quite spiky and stuff. That's how I like it. Pull over the goose bite, secure it behind the bead with a few wraps, and trim off the excess. I'll just throw in a whip finish or a half inch and then I'll come up with my copper wire 
this just strengthens the goose bite as well as creates some segmentation on this fly. Break that away. Now for the thorax I'm going to use the um, dabbing. Sorry, I'm going to use the iced um, crystal flash and um, also the CDC feather. So I'm going to use a split thread technique so that I don't create a lot of bulk with just a normal loop. And you really don't need that much. So what I'll do I'll use my CDC clamp and just catch a dozen or so other fibers and trim them off. Just a few. And then I will take my eye stabbing. Just put them in the split thread. And really it's, it seems too much at this stage, but it's fine. I can always pull them out if I find that they are too much. And then I'll just come and insert my CDC as well. So with that in place, I'll just spin it up. As I go along, I'll just stroke those fibers back. And tie it off. So. There you have it, my go-to fly for the Vol River. You can also use in dirtier water the uh, Peacock Crystal Flash, that's also a great option, and also the um, greener versions. So yeah, there's no hard and fast way. I even use this brownish orange fire color in some instances. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fly Tying Step by Step. And uh, there's a quite a few other videos there that you can watch as well. Thanks. Bye.